G'day everyone, I'm Dan. Welcome back uh, to my YouTube channel, uh, Pretty Average Astro. Uh, thanks very much for your uh, interest in my last review on the Skywatch uh, Evo Lux 82 ED. Unfortunately, uh, weather didn't really play out and I didn't get to give it a proper test and really only got uh, one uh, photo. And in line with my channel, the weather still has been uh, pretty average. But I did manage to get one session in and I got about uh, 35 minute uh, exposures. Uh, with this setup, the Skywatcher Evolux 82 ED paired with the Star Arizona 0.65 uh, reducer and my modified uh, Canon 1200D. Um, I didn't get the back focus quite right. There were still some stretched stars um, on the outer areas um, of my frames, but I was easily able to crop in um, and I managed to image the uh, Prawn Nebula, uh, I think it's uh, called the IC4628. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that's what I took a photo of last time. So hopefully this time I've done it justice. Uh, I did um, do calibration frames, um, darks, uh, flats, dark flats uh, and bias. I do actually have the Optolong L Ultimate uh, filter coming today and I am going to change this setup uh, um, and pair the ASI uh, 533MC Pro. So I'm glad I at least got to test out the DSLR with, um, uh, with this setup. And I think the reducer really did make a difference. I got a lot more faint uh, nebula detail uh, than I usually would. This won't be a, like a editing tutorial or anything like that, um, but I finally got around to paying the pics in sight um, and I used the uh, trial of the plugin Star Exterminator Noise Exterminator. Um, and I also used some of um, the other developed uh, plugins from other members, uh, the Easy Suite software and uh, YouTuber uh, Luco Matico gave a really good um, tutorial on another YouTuber's uh, plugin. Um, I know his first name's Bill, but I can't remember his last name. Um, and he developed these color masks um, and they really, really helped me get um, a lot more detail really, really easily um, uh, out of the nebula. Um, and yeah, it was absolutely enjoyable and I didn't restart uh, 10 times and start again. Um, and to finish off, um, Prior to Pixel, so I've been using Affinity Photo um, and the macros from James uh, Ritson. He's a product expert for Affinity Photo and he's got some really, really good um, YouTube um, tutorials on astrophotography uh, with Affinity Photo. And I believe his macros were, were free as well. Um, and yes, yeah, so I really appreciate all the work that uh, he done. And I just did some little tweaking on some of the uh, automatic macros that he's uh, developed. In the end, I did a starless version and a version with um, star reduction. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I just thought I'd do a quick video and actually show you some uh, decent results uh, that I got with this setup. Uh, and I'm really, really happy. Um, Pixing site made a, a, a huge difference. <laughs> Um, with getting some of those uh, more details out. Um, but I hope you find it uh, enjoyable and thanks for tuning in. Hopefully next we'll be uh, the, um, testing out the 533MC uh, Pro and the new Optimong L Ultimate Builder. Uh, thanks very much.